So triangling is when, see I, I can pick on my colleagues, when I have an issue with Tom Carver and I go to Ryan to talk about, to talk about it. So I create a triangle. Instead of, instead of um, talking to Tom, I go to um, someone else and I kind of, I'm just venting or whatever. But, um, whoops, that's not going to work. So if typically, if A is in a relationship with B and they find that there's some tension, um, they often go to C. C okay? And in churches and in other organizations too, often there are like many Cs, right? Okay. So what happens is you end up with this kind of triangle. And a triangle is a device for passing anxiety around. I like to picture it as a monkey on, monkey on your back, you know. So um, if, if, if I have a monkey on my back because I'm really stressed about something, and I go to, instead of dealing with it, I go to another person, essentially what I'm saying is, will you take the monkey? <laughs> will you take my anxiety? Because I don't want to carry it. And then I go home, and I see if you've ever had this. I go home and sleep well at night. And the person that I unloaded on, they're up all night stressing, right? Ever experienced that? When the system is really anxious. When the system's really anxious, it can't function well. And why does that matter? Not because we're like Iowa nice and we just need to be nice to each other. It matters because a highly anxious system can't do what it's here to do, which is God's mission in the world. Okay, that's why it matters. You know, I mean, it's nice if we like each other and all of that, but ultimately, if we're anxiety-ridden, it's really hard to focus on the mission.